Howdy, Ollie and Luke. I'm Steve Fullhart, Lions Pride Sports Professional Wrestling out of the great state of Texas. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, at Lions Pride TX. But I feel like we support you guys. Hopefully you support us. There's somebody else that I feel like has limitless support for you. Support Ollie. Support Luke. Support Wrestle Talk. Or better yet, take just a moment, stop what you're doing, and bask in their glory. Support Wrestle Talk! Hello and welcome to the Wrestle Talk News. I'm Ollie Davis. And give it up for one of mine and Luke's favourite wrestlers in the world right now, Keith Lee, for introducing this episode. Of course, support Wrestle Talk, but also support independent wrestlers. And give Keith Lee a follow on Twitter at RealKeithLee, where he frequently posts videos of him throwing dudes around. And dudes aren't the only thing being thrown around on social media. There's also some some serious shade being cast in WWE's women's division. Sunday night saw the first ever women's elimination chamber match, which Bailey proudly posted about on her Instagram page. And in this moment, I swear, we are infinite. In the final three of the match, Sasha Banks turned on Bailey for no particular strategic reason. But at least Sasha's furthering the storyline on social media, commenting on Bailey's post, "You uh, you you haven't returned my calls, unhappy." Happy emoticon face? Kayfabe! Booker T and Corey Graves also got in on the social media fun on Sunday night, with the five-time, five-time, five-time WCW champion finally confronting Graves in person. Several weeks ago, the wrestling world was abuzz with Booker T calling out Graves for a shoot fight after the Hall of Famer was replaced on the Raw commentary team. If I catch Corey Graves on the street, I'm gonna do something to him. I ain't going to do it at the office or the airport, but if I catch Corey Graves on the street, you see that little buffont hairdo he got? I'm, I'm gonna rearrange it for him. It was a slow news day. Well, it seems Booker finally did catch Graves on the street, with Corey posting a photo of him being pinned up against the wall and the caption, if it's on the internet, it must be true. Which is a perfect lead into the next story, as former WWE star Bobby Lashley is reportedly returning to the company which I read on the internet. Damn it. Brad Shepard of Bodyslam.net, who originally broke the story about Vince McMahon bringing back the XFL, claims Lashley has now agreed terms with WWE. Lashley left TNA Impact Wrestling when he was granted an early release at the end of January, where the Wrestling Observer reported he was looking to sign with WWE as soon as possible, with the idea to work a post-WrestleMania feud with Brock Lesnar. But those plans are now up in the air, with Dave Meltzer recently tweeting, Lesnar may not not be with the company at that point. And UFC president Dana White posted a photo with Brock on Sunday night, fueling rumours that Lesnar will return to MMA once his WWE contract expires in April. Lashley left WWE in 2008 on bad terms, reportedly falling out with the then head writer of SmackDown, Michael Hayes. Since then, he's become a four-time world champion in TNA. Speaking of SmackDown, it seems WWE officials are unhappy happy with the show backstage. Click the video on the left to find out more now. 